Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm doing a lot of uh, 3D printing these days and you probably saw that on my channel and I'm always looking for uh, cool stuff to print and I found recently the Hogwarts castle or the school in Harry Potter and we are big fans of Harry Potter in my family. We have all the movies so I thought I would give it a try. It's kind of difficult to print so before I give you the details on the print let me show you a close-up video I did just to show the details on this print. Like you saw, there is a lot of details. So I'm going to give credits to the people, the designers, in my uh, video description. Uh, there are many remix. That's why I'm not going to mention the names now. But there are an, a lot of remix files that you will see on the web. And some of them don't have the details because some people say that you cannot print them. But this was printed on the Ender 3 printer, which is not a professional printer. And you saw all the details. So this took one day and four hours to print and in fill of 15% concentric layer height of 0.2 millimeters and a speed of 60. Um, if you go out with a higher speed, you won't get all the details. So I would not go beyond 60 uh, millimeters per second. Now the size of this, uh, of this print which is, by the way, 85% the size of the file you can download. I had to reduce by, I mean, to 85% because the file doesn't fit on the Ender 3 bed. So that's why I did the reduction. So the size, the size of this build is 20 centimeters wide by 14 and a half centimeters uh, width, and in inches, this is uh, eight inches wide by about five and a half uh, deep. So amazing build, really. Um, there are a couple of details that my Ender 3 could not print, and actually my Cura software could not even slice. If you use a better slicer like Simplify 3D, you will probably be able to print everything. But let me show you two details that the printer did not print, and you probably saw that in my short close-up video. I'm going to take my camera here, and I'm going to look here at the court, this outside court. I'm going to use a pencil. See here, the fence was printed here, but it was not printed on this side and on this side here. So I think the arches were too small. The arches supporting the fence uh, were too small. So that didn't get uh, printed. And also, let me get a good uh, angle right here. This bridge here, the bottom bridge got printed, but the top bridge, as you can see, there's only the walkway. The arch that is supporting the walkway did not get printed. Probably, again, too small, but again, I think it's more Cura in this case, because uh, after analysis of the slices in Cura, there was some uh, defects. So Simplified 3D would probably give you all the details I am missing. But this is a very nice print. If you're looking for a nice project, especially if you're a fan of Harry Potter, then I would recommend this, this, uh, this print. Now, I used the gray because I didn't want to paint. But if you wanted to put more details, like paint with the green for the grass and etc., then I would print, of course, in, uh, I would print in white. Uh, also, this should be great if you print with uh, shiny silver. Or a shiny copper. I think it would it would make for a very nice uh, finish. 
So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. I think this is a, an amazing build. Uh, kudos to the designer and the couple of guys who did the remix after. This is an amazing uh, print. So thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.